Then I did to obey her. I told them what university. I bet what she would die. Nancy, I bet you what to It's a bomb book class bomb. First off, if you are offended by what I'm about to say, then I apologize. I'm not apologizing because I'm feeling guilty or I feel bad or I'm not understanding. I'm apologizing because you are a crybaby and you cannot tolerate other people's opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Today is no bra day. I'm just covered in petals. Make sure you go get your breast checked and yoga, exercising, dancing, loving yourself also improves your health and can help you manage your breast cancer in case you ever develop it. 13th October, no brother. Yay, today's no brother. <laughs> okay. Today's no brother, 30th of, of October. <clears throat> There's a day used to um, set aside to commemorate um, breast cancer survivors and uh, breast cancer, um, should I say victims, or, you know. Um, people who died out of breast cancer and people who, um, ladies or, I mean, some guys also get breast cancer though. So, um, let's say that people who, uh, yeah, died out of breast cancer and people who, um, who are basically, um, suffering from breast cancer and survivors of breast cancer and all that. Anyway, um, since, um, today's, uh, um, breast, um, no bra day, we, Actually, people actually, a lot of ladies, mostly ladies, actually, um, you know, take off their bra and uh, take pictures and, you know, post it on social media. You know, it's something that has happened uh, for some time now. Um, the first time I personally had the encounter with a new bra day was, uh, was it uh, 2016 or 2015? Yeah, I think it's not. I think it's 2014. Yeah, it was, uh. There was this group on Facebook at that time called uh, Selfie. I, mean, I don't know what happened. I think that, uh, I don't know what happened. They changed the name and all of a sudden, the group just got finished. <laughs> yeah, so there was, uh, I think this group uh, was uh, by this uh, Swedish girl. I mean, this Ghanaian who lives in Sweden. And, uh, I mean, it was a fun place to be at that time. Anyway, um, so basically people... Um, take pictures, especially ladies, take pictures of um, either browsers and uh, post it on social media, put it, um, pictures or videos, whatever, anything, and, and uh, I think it's something that has gone on for pretty quite some time, but I think this year's uh, No Brass Day, I mean, in my opinion, I really didn't feel it, and uh, maybe I didn't get it. <laughs> um, I didn't get a lot of, you know, some shows to see. <laughs> yeah. I digress, never mind. So, um, yeah, this is a video of Abina Koko. Um, basically, um, paying tribute and, uh, paying an homage to the day. And, yeah, so, um, I decided to, you know, also pay my own tribute by commenting on it. So, yeah. Get your breast checked and uh, get a, see a physician or see whoever is in charge of and um, get a mammogram, um, you know, regularly. And uh, yeah, let's kick breast cancer out. <laughs> Eyewitnesses say. 
that the young man walked straight onto the scene took off his clothes and walked directly into the sea they also alleged that he prevented people from rescuing him let's talk to them and find out what they have to tell us about this yeah i was i was at the cage there and saw that the a, a certain gun was swimming and i told one guy that you should rush and go and rescue the guy but b before you get there no, the, he told the guy to come but the guy the guy told the guy uh, that guy that when you don't know and you approach him he also you know uh you know go away with the, with him to the water is a pres presbyterian uh also presbyterian uh, secondary but when the uncle came he, he, he told us that he just completed the, the school on time but he went to the school again to apply for the teaching uh, but he doesn't know what was happening so only the uncle who came here to uh, uh, take the, the clothes away just right now so the police and soldiers were here to investigate well, the body is not yet released but we're waiting for some three or uh, four days that's what people are here are saying that three or four days the body will come but we don't know the actual time that the water release the body here without a in like a jagon on the bar. She need bar, a woe, a woe uniform, a what I think you know. Oh, well, in like a woman, a student, the British in here, a admosia, Muena, the Vajini beer. Whatever the Vajini beer still in tag by Shimu Pole. You get bitten, only bitten women, make up a couple of Yemen Quake, a book in a minute, any show by your film, show by your shale. Only if you can only get a bag like over me, I shall. Only thing I do more container container in my day. You had to more day, no, in I get shocking. On to finish back to go a container, my say no to finish the game. My Jenny be a papa like a papa in the beer. Only thing you know, you shall must say, it can make a case to morning. Clever go away. It's chill. Oh, <laughs> Right now, I have some scenarios in my head that um, 
But uh, anyway, I, let's let's focus on uh, the physical stuff. So um, uh, this this came to me as um as a wake up call, and it looks like um a lot of Ghanaians. I um, mean, yeah, I think it's because of our background, our background with spiritual stuff and divine and other stuff. We don't normally take mental health too seriously. And I'm not saying he died. I mean, he died as a depressed person. I mean, he, according to you know, the encounters they have him, he looked as if he was a depressed person. And um, I think um, we need to consider these things. And even uh, from uh, and even from our uh, um, criminal code, um, suicide is considered a uh, uh, first uh, degree felony. Meaning, uh, any person who um, is who attempts suicide and survives will spend uh, could spend life imprisonment in Ghana. Yeah, they could spend the rest of their life in prison. This law needs to be amended. I think the time that the 1960 criminal code was um, 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 was put into force or was passed into um, an, an, an act, um, I think um, things like this were not that popular and uh, we didn't know more about mental illness and all that. And I'm even shocked that... Um, still, you know, um, still in force. I know that abortion laws have been, uh, you know, have been amended and all that, but I don't know, I stand to be corrected though. I haven't, I haven't heard of, um, I haven't heard about um, anything about amendment of um, the attempted or uh, abetment, attempted suicide, you know, section. That is added in section 57 of the 1960 criminal code. Yeah, and I think that uh, this is the reason why we elected um, MPs and members of parliament, and this is the reason why they are supposed to be in parliament and be enacting laws like this and be amending laws like this. I I wish that. Uh, this, uh, these big men, these uh, members of parliament, take the suicide um, laws into consideration. And, uh, you know, um, they make an amendment to it, like what they did to the abortion. And um, another thing is that um, I think mental illness, ailment actually, is um, something that we underrate in Ghana. In recent times, we've seen people go through depression, big, big people, funny face. Um, I think I'm in a couple with um, some of the manic episodes. And um, I, a lot, a lot of people, and we are all, one way or the other, we need therapists. Even though I have a personal feel of them, because I think that, um, I mean, internet, I mean, uh, I have a personal fear, not in Ghana, but therapist outside Africa. And I feel that um, the alphabet mafia are, uh, are trying to indoctrinate them or using them as tools for indoctrination. And I've read books that makes it possible. Anyway, I don't want to go into conspiracy. Anyway, um, all I have to say is that uh, um, we need to, you know, learn more about how to deal with depressed people and how to, you know, help them. And my condolences to any family that was affected. And uh, I will say a prayer for you. Um, the name is ADB. Yes, I'm down boy. And thanks for watching. Good night.